So for me, drawing and painting is a lot about discovery. I don't have a picture in my head that I'm trying to reproduce on canvas. I might have an idea or a feeling or a gist or a pose that I'm starting with um, and working my way up. Uh, but there's always a lot of things I'm finding out as I go along. This painting is a good example of that um, uh, create-as-you-go approach. I, I started with the nearest pose. Uh, well, almost started. I had some photographs for that pose, uh, although I changed the camera angle and a few other things as I went. Uh, it wasn't, I didn't know how many figures there would be total, but I started out with a near near figure and uh, a second figure joined her and they were on a bench and uh, there were some people standing around them and then the bench turned into a windowsill and after that the space really started to sort of take form in my mind. Um, I tried out a few poses for that second nearest figure and uh, wound back to the one I remembered from the same photo session that the first one was from. So the two near, near figures are based on, uh, on the same model. Uh, Portia, who I've worked with many times and always brings out the best in me. Uh, but I didn't want these two to be uh, duplicates of each other. Uh, not this time anyway. So I adapted Porsche's features and um, changed the outfit, the hairstyle to make them uh, distinctly different people. You know, maybe they're cousins. At this stage, the, the figures are basically placeholders, right? They, they show where the figure is eventually going to be painted, uh, more or less the color scheme and the value of them. Uh, and that's enough to get working on the uh, the background elements with some knowledge of how they're going to interact. And this grouping in the back, um, this the two figures talking to each other are are partly invented uh, from memory. They're they're real people in my mind, uh, but they're invented. There's no sketch or photo or anything I'm working from there. Uh, but this last figure, this one alone, uh, um, it, it, she, they bridged the foreground and background coupling there. And they took a, a while to nail down. I changed size, I changed pose, I changed position. Uh, eventually I worked with a model to try to get the, uh, the nuance I was looking for. Uh, the wood floor here, it starts out basically as just the floor in my studio, but I, I changed that before too long. In, in this figure, there's a definite moment I want to create. Um, the, they're not just bridging the, the two groups, they're sort of the, the linchpin to the composition. Um, and I wanted this decision-making moment and just inventing wasn't taking me there. So I brought in a model to help me with that. Um, I think at this point, I'm still thinking my studio floor, but pretty soon I start moving towards uh, the floor mm -hmm. at the Boston Figurative Arts Center, which is dark and has flecks of green paint and shows every day of the hundred years of hard use it's been through. The, uh, the floral pattern on this dress was really fun to put together. The paint handling style in this piece changes as you move across it. Um, it's got some areas of pretty tight detail and it's got some much looser, more painterly uh, passages and hopefully knits them together well. I always want to invite the viewer to go through that same process of discovery that I go through when I'm making the piece. Um, I don't want to present it as one final finished thing. I, I like to, I try to leave kind of markings and roadmaps of the process that brought this piece uh, 
to the end. So I love the fact that uh, in the layers of paint, under these layers of paint, are all the early attempts at the different figures. And um, the different poses for this figure are under that paint somewhere. Uh, a, uh, you know, maybe the right x-ray machine could find it for you if you need it. And I love that idea that it is its own history all there on the same canvas, as valuable as doing thumbnails and studies and uh, color preliminaries and all that sort of thing and photo mockups, as valuable as that is and as, as often as I use it for many projects, um, I get ex I really love the projects where almost everything is there worked on that one surface. There isn't a preliminary drawing on a different piece of paper, there aren't thumbnail sketches, everything happened right here.